hi everyone welcome back to my youtube channel it's ade here again if you're a new subscriber you're very welcome my name is ade and i film about faith motherhood and lifestyle i make videos from england united kingdom and if you're an existing subscriber thank you so so much for always always coming back i honestly and i really really do appreciate you supporting me you motivate me like i always say thank you so much okay so in today's video um I'm going to be sharing a story with you, okay? So this is a story that God just reminded me and I'm just happy everything ended up the way it ended. I'm so sorry, you might be hearing some background noises. The owner of this house, the boss, Mr. Victor, is awake, he's not asleep. So you're probably going to be hearing his voice. Please just bear with me, okay? <laughs> Uh, we'll be saying we'll be telling a story like I said um, God reminded me of this story and when he reminded me of this story I immediately knew that if things had gone the way they were going I would not have ended up where I am right now or I wouldn't have been where I am today okay um, so this is a story of when um, I just finished my youth service so a youth service if you don't know is like a one-year program a compulsory one-year program that you must go for to like serve your nation basically and yeah you do that for a year you placed on the job um, on a work placement so it's just um to um improve um culture diversity things like that you know unity and diversity you know stuff like that anyway so after my one year program i was planning to come to the uk to do my master's program and um something happened along the line i couldn't make it january of the year i came um, to to do my program so i had to wait for the next intake which was september now um the plan was to get a job, you know. I can't just be sitting down and just waiting for September to come. January to September is such a long time, you know. I just can't sit back and be waiting. So I was applying for jobs. My uncle was um, referring referring me to a lot of people. My dad was submitting my CV to everyone in, you know, in new back then. Guess what? None of them clicked, okay? <laughs> None of them clicked. And it's, it's just beginning to make sense now. So let me tell you something. When things are not working in your life, just sit back and just tell God to give you spiritual eyes to see beyond your situation you know a lot of times God wants you to see something God wants you to learn something through whatever you're going through or through whatever situation you find yourself anyway so um, I'd gone on several 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 um, job interviews and I ended up landing one and trust me if all the ones that I applied for like none of I, I didn't get into any of them like I said, I didn't get to see any of them, but there was this particular one um, that my uncle um, arranged for me, you know, just sent somebody my CV, they put my name on the, what's it called, um, on the list, you know, the person sent me an email, spoke to me, you know, so anyway. So the person spoke to me like um it was it was a weekday so let me say i think on the tuesday i can't remember which day but i know it was on a weekday so let's say he called me tuesday evening and he told me the interview is, is the next morning in port harcourt and which means it, it only meant one thing i had to travel all the way down to lagos because i wasn't living in Lagos. i was living in my with my parents in abeokuta okay Ogun state so i had to travel from Ogun state to lagos state and take a flight from lagos state to port harcourt and then from there find my way to the um, examination um place you know so i i, I have an uncle in port harcourt so that the plan was my dad would um me and myself and my dad see we are see myself and my dad we are used to doing things and stuff like that like is my main man is my plug when it comes to i have to get somewhere very early you know my dad is always readily available to drive me you know to take me whatever wherever i'm going to shout out to you daddy god bless you anyway so my dad so the next morning wednesday morning so i think the interview was for it wasn't for Wednesday morning, I think it was for Thursday morning. 
was it for well, no 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 it was for wednesday morning it was for wednesday morning i think sometimes around 11 12 or maybe 10 11 i really can't remember anyway so um tuesday evening we booked the flight and everything so wednesday morning around four o'clock or so um my dad drove me from Ogun state to lagos state we got to lagos state um booked my what so i already booked my flight boarded you know i was ready to fly you know so anyway told my dad goodbye and all of that called my uncle see the noises i was telling you about just please ignore and listen to this story okay <laughs> so anyway i already called my uncle oh uncle i'm on my way blah 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 so in in so so, so in so so amount of time we'll be in port Harcourt and yeah so the plan was for him to take me to the exam place like i said anyway we got into the plane and <laughs> That I'm alive today is just by the grace of God. That I'm alive today is just by the, by the faith. It's all, all, all God's plan. It's all God's plan. Anyway, so we got into the flight, and I think Lagos Botakwa is about maybe an hour or maybe an hour, ten or fifteen minutes. You know. So yeah, and we were going, 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 going. There was no turbulence. There was nothing. There was no disruption. Nothing, nothing. When it was about, I remember this for sure. When it was about fifteen minutes to touching down, <laughs> the pilot announced and said, "We are going to be making a, a turn around back to Lagos State." Ah, uh, da 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 da. It didn't really go into details of what went wrong or why we are not touching down in Port Harcourt. My mind, bear, I'm bear in mind the the job I was going for the what's it called the job interview or the job. Yeah, we're supposed to do like a um assessment before we go for the interview. So I was, it was, uh, it was an oil company. So I was already calculating in my head. Ah, this was so amount of money is what they pay. I'm going to be spending this money. The I'd already made plans for the job I'd not even gotten, you know? <laughs> anyway, so, so anyway, the, um, um, pilots announced, um, it was like, oh, he's got to go back to Lagos. And it was just 15 minutes to touch him down. In my mind, I'm like, okay, what's going on? Like, it's just 15 minutes for us to get to Batakot, no turbulence. We had a smooth, we had, you know, we've had a smooth flight all along. What could, what could be going wrong? What could, you know, it wasn't making any sense anyway so um i'm like oh my goodness what is going on here everybody started panicking everybody started talking you know anyway we got back to lagos which we now finally touched down in lagos and they refunded our money see eh, the only thing that did not really really pay me is that the food that they gave us on the plane they did not collect it <laughs> because obviously whatever you're paying for your um airplane tickets includes food refreshments and everything so i'm just happy they did not collect the refresh the, the refresh hell jesus the refreshments so we had snacks and all of those things i'm so happy that it did not collect that from us but we got back our money and the reason why i'm telling this story is because like i said god just reminded me of this story and do you know that if that airplane i touched down in port Harcourt. i had gone for that interview let's say against all odds i passed that interview <laughs> i would not have my life would have taken a different course and i don't know if you get what i'm trying to say like my life will have taken a different route like i wouldn't be where i am today i wouldn't have met the people that i am so grateful to god for meeting today like Ever since then, like, I've met so many amazing people in my life. And I'm like, oh, my goodness. Like, this is, it is definitely your plan for you. Because I, I, as a person, I know that it is not possible to run a race alone, okay? Like, thank God for the gift of men. Like, God will always bless you with people that would, that you will need at every point in time of your life. You know what I'm saying? So, I'm just happy, like when you reminded me like i was just so excited i'm like oh my goodness oh my goodness like i did not think of it that way because right there that day i was so angry i was so furious i'm like oh my goodness i've missed an opportunity what is the meaning of this da, 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 da. first i am my my um application to come study has been deferred to september now uh, my uncle helped me get a uh, help me get a spot for an interview and this this this, this is what it's i kept on complaining that day i kept on lamenting but it just reminded me like, dear, you don't know 
you don't know what i did for you and i just have this feeling like it, it turns that plane around because of me i am so sure like i am so confident in my spirit like it turned it around because of me because if i had landed like i said my life would have taken a different turn and i'm here just to encourage you are you are you like me are you complaining the way i was com complaining the other day are you lamenting are you telling god oh god why is this happening i'm supposed to be here thank god for where you are okay thank god for where you are because there are so many people that are praying to get the kind of life you have the kind of job you have the kind of family you have you know so just be appreciative of god of wherever you find yourself at every point in time just have it at your at the back of your mind that it was and the plan he has towards you are not your own thoughts and not your own plans are higher and way way better than your own plan okay just also know that the foolishness of god is wiser than the than the wisdom of the wisest man on, on the face of this earth okay so this is just me encouraging you that wherever you find yourself today wherever you are today just thank god just thank god for life like i always say when there's life there's hope and there's a million and one chances to do it over and over again, to make it over and over again. Don't be discouraged. Don't be confused. Don't stop lamenting. Oh my goodness. We as humans, we lament a lot and we forget the faithfulness of God. We forget how good God is to us. Anyway, I just came here to share my story. I hope you've enjoyed it. See, I, I, there's nothing you can tell me. I know that I am a very, very good storyteller. Okay. <laughs> anyway, yeah, I hope that you enjoyed this story time. Please, um, like I always say, and like I'm going to say again, just remain focused, okay? Remain focused and just fix your eyes on God and it's going to get you to, to that point that you do not even imagine that you can ever, ever attain. To that point that you, can, you do not even imagine that you can ever, ever get to. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please do not forget, to, if you've watched this video up until this time, it is a crime not to subscribe okay if you're not already subscribed it is a crime for you not to watch up to this point and not be subscribed to this channel um yes so i'm so excited for our new subscribers thank you so much for finding my content and my channel worthy of even subscribing thank you so much god bless you like i always say let's say it together stay safe continue to stay in god and god bless you Mwah. bye